Up next is, of course, a very short video. This will be short for now. Apparently, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp are also involved right now in kind of a public spat or a bit of a public dispute at this time. Um, I'll admit that I do not have all of the facts or details as of yet concerning the dispute itself, but I do know Milani Cosmetics was, for some reason, interestingly enough, dragged into the midst of the dispute midstream, uh, essentially out of nowhere. And the product that they're discussing, that they kind of discuss in the actual trial, is not the product that was used. In other words, it's not, it's not even the same makeup product. And what's interesting is what Milani Cosmetics also says about the concealer product that they claim would have been used didn't even um, exist on the market at that time. So I'm just kind of going over this very, very briefly. This is a brief video to cover kind of the key issues. Uh, the TikTok spokesperson for Milani Cosmetics has disputed claims that Amber Heard used in court that the products were used to cover her official bruising and other problems associated with uh, issues going on with her then fiancé at the time. The High Street brand was cited by Heard's lawyer Elaine Bredhoft during the ongoing defamation court case between the actress and ex-husband Johnny Depp. The record claims the Pirates of the Caribbean star is suing Heard for a 2018 Washington Post op-ed, they claim, in which she reportedly accuses him of abuse as well as physical abuse. Bredhoft used Milani's all-in-one correcting kit as evidence during the opening statement, claiming Amber Heard had used the concealer on alleged injuries before her 2016 divorce. However, this could not have been possible. On Friday, the 22nd of uh, April, Milani Cosmetics spoke out against the claims and called them largely fictional. This is what she said that she used. Bredhoff said, holding up the palette to the court. She became adept at it. You were going to hear testimony from Amber about how she had to mix different colors for the different days of the bruises as they developed in the different coloring and how she would use it to touch up these problems. The official Milani Cosmetics uh, social media spokesperson posted a video that contradicts all the claims. You asked us, so let the record show that our correcting kit officially launched in 2017. They wrote in the caption. International super spy from Nick Jr. showed the backyardigans plays in the background as the following statement is shown on screen. Take note. Alleged abuse was around 2014 to 2016, and they allegedly got divorced in 2016. The makeup palette that they are trying to reference didn't release until the year 2017 and shortly thereafter. Next up on our way to Harvard Law, the brand stated in the comments, we are here to provide the facts for the case. So I'm not sure about all of the claims um, that were going on and being issued within court or within similar you know, venues. But I do know that the concealer that she claims to have used is not the same concealer that Milani Cosmetics is selling everywhere. And it is not the one that would have been, that would have, you know, been used to conceal certain things on the face because that product was never even launched officially until 2017. This is on Milani Cosmetics' own website. And this is on the product's website. I decided to, uh, you know, go to the Milani Cosmetics product site. And it indeed shows that these products, there's basically a total of two uh, types of concealers. These products were not even issued officially until late 2017. So the claims that Amber Heard has used are largely basically fictional and are highly exaggerated because when you think about it, you can't just use a 
makeup concealer? I wouldn't think. I haven't done a full diagnosis of the case, but I certainly wouldn't think you can do that. To hide material issues on your face completely. Like it couldn't hide if you had gotten knocked in the jaw or something, so to speak, or, you know, suffered something that required a visit to a local clinic. I don't think that that would actually do that. There are some that claim that that would probably hide cuts and things like that. And, you know, it's possible that it may to a certain extent, but I don't believe that you could actually physically hide all of the defects. It's not like somebody going in there is doing some kind of corrective practice. There's no surgery involved. They're just putting on makeup. And so I found these statements by Milani Cosmetics and some of the other issues that have been brought into the spotlight of the case at the beginning to just, you know, simply be very interesting. So I appreciate, you know, you guys uh, adding your feedback to this situation and and certainly um, to spread the word. Uh, Get it out there, you know, spread it far and wide. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of really either of these actors, uh, but I will tell you this, I will always throw my lot in with Pirates of the Caribbean because that is a great movie, and I've always loved that movie franchise, and I think that uh, Mr. Depp has always done a commendable job, I will say commendable job when it came to uh, really tackling the Pirates of the Caribbean. And the franchise, you know, has a lot of life left in it. And so I love to uh, I love to hear more about Pirates of the Caribbean as time goes on. And I do believe that he's a great actor. I believe Amber Heard is a great actress. And it's a shame um, kind of what has gone on with them because, you know, at a certain time, I'm sure they were a happy uh, couple. But... Um, As of late, there's been a lot of extreme kind of outbursts, and and this is one of those outbursts which I would count as fairly extreme because she is claiming certain things about the cosmetic products, and she even has a lawyer and someone else going out and claiming these things that are not ever able to square with reality. They don't square with the truth. You know, most people in the domestic kind of situation would not be able to just use some kind of makeup product to hide all their scars and so forth. You would assume they would go to a clinic or to a hospital clinic for a visit and, and similar things like that. It would not just be they go to Maybelline. You know, and I'm not saying that that doesn't happen sometimes. I'm just saying it's unrealistic. It doesn't explain certain things. And you could not hide deeper cuts or deeper problems, most certainly, with just some cosmetics at all. And we know that from watching movies, even even fictional movies like like Batman, you know, and the Joker. I just just wanted to kind of simmer things down here and get more into the grounded facts of the case. I think they both are making some interesting points, and I think right now it is heading in the direction of uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean star, because some of Amber Heard's arguments are just very, very uh, exaggerated, is what I will say. Thank you. More to come. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp civil case. Ireland Baldwin. In other words, the actress from several world-famous movies, actress Ireland Baldwin, has accused Amber Heard of using womanhood to play the victim amid the Johnny Depp trial and cross-examination. Ireland Baldwin commented on Johnny Depp's ongoing defamation trial and case against Amber Heard. Baldwin had called Heard an absolute disaster. The model said she hopes Depp will get his reputation and life back amid the controversy. Ireland Baldwin publicly supported Johnny Depp amid the actor's defamation case against his ex-wife, Amber. 
during the ongoing trial that is out in Fairfax, Virginia right now, that is basically over a 2018 uh, op-ed in which Heard wrote about surviving domestic abuse, an audio clip of the Aquaman, Aquaman actress admitted to hitting Depp and was played during trial. Baldwin commented on the trial via Instagram stories and shared a screenshot of a tweet featuring a video of Johnny sitting on the stand while listening to the audio clip being played. In her accompanying response, the 26-year-old model and daughter of Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger slammed Amber Heard as a disaster for doing what she was doing and accused the actress of using her womanhood to turn the world against Depp. The thing is, I know, woman, I know that there are women who are exactly like this, Baldwin wrote in the Sense Expired Post, according to the screenshot obtained by Daily Mail. They can be manipulative and cold, and they use their very womanhood to play the victim and then turn the world against the man because, you know, society is about how cool it is to say men are the worst, and blah, blah, blah. She went on to express support for Depp, saying, Men can experience abuse as well, and this absolute disaster of a human, Amber Heard, is terrible. And I hope Johnny gets his reputation and his life back. You know, I hope that as well, because despite some of my misgivings with similar things that Johnny has done before, you know, and so forth, I have always enjoyed the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise as a whole. And so everybody can make mistakes once in a while, but the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise is something that cannot be replaced. And really... To be quite honest, I look forward to the day where we can really discuss Pirates of the Caribbean again and discuss what's going to happen with Pirates of the Caribbean 5 because I admit that I really do enjoy that franchise and I think they have uh, kind of a rarity among certain movie franchises right now as far as they have some very good acting in most of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, it's always got a very good cast. And so I'd love to see, you know, a Pirates of the Caribbean 5, hopefully with Johnny Depp back in the role, you know, and, and similar people back in the role that they are really meant for. Because that is a franchise that I think can really be turned around um, as certain things develop in our public discourse out here. More and more celebrities have come forward to show support for Depp amid the defamation trial. The way Johnny has been conducting himself in private and public with his usual class and manners is a testament to the strength of character that he has. Those of us who have known and worked with him for decades are proud to stand beside him, Ella stated. On Thursday, Amber Heard's lawyer, Ben Rottenborn, showed up in court with message exchanges, essentially, between Depp and Paul Bettany including one in which the two once joked about taking out Amber Heard. Let's drown her before we burn her, da da da. Depp wrote in text from June 2013. And of course, that was so long ago, and he was in a very stressful situation, that even I can kind of sympathize with that. He was just, he was joking around. I don't think anybody who truly reads into that with official clarity, is going to say that was absolutely a serious statement or anything. But I think that Depp and I think Amber Heard as well and similar folks were under some real stress at the time. I've certainly had those kind of scuffles before uh, in the past, no question. But that would be, you know, on the street, out in the public or something with somebody who was basically initiating violence, you know, I would, I would be defending myself in that case, which would later be shown uh, to be true. But never inside of a domestic setting. Never have I encountered anything like that, thankfully, inside a domestic setting. Um, and so, in that respect, I can't truly relate to some of the terms they use uh, in the case, but what I can relate to is why Johnny Depp was very, very uh, bothered at the time, why he had certain reservations and issues going on 
with the situation that was unfolding. Um, I believe Amber Heard acted way outside of the boundaries of what you would typically expect in any kind of a relationship, for example. And so in that way, I would concur and agree more with the Pirates of the Caribbean star. But also, you know, I just enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean overall. I've always kind of liked that franchise. And so it's not really so much uh, just for Depp himself, but it's more because I like the movies, you know. I would tend to side with that that side of the picture a little more. Um, and, you know, he was accused of a lot of things. I don't know if he really took cocaine, you know. I myself have thankfully never been interested in anything to do with substances like cocaine or similar. But there are people I've known who've gotten into that. At least briefly they've gotten into it. And so, you know, I don't know what's really true about that. But what I do know is I, I got to come in for depth on this. You know, a lot of the allegations and the accusations and so on, especially in the media, are totally, you know, fictional, did not occur. And so it's very interesting to see what's truly going on here, kind of get another side of it. Texts from Depp to his friend and sister were shown. Text messages from Johnny Depp to Paul Bettany revealed he told the actor about an occasion where he drank around Amber Heard. Amber Heard's lawyer read the text. You may have to drink for me, Johnny Depp wrote to Bettany. I, of course, pounded and displayed ugly colors to Amber on a recent journey. I must be insane, and so on. And the way that I relate to this is, you know, I don't morally excuse some of the ways that Depp has conducted himself, you know, in certain nations or whatever you want to call that. Um, but uh, as far as in the legal sense and so on, I don't see anything here that's truly rising to the level of being like an actionable offense that's so literal, you know, we need to make sure to hound Depp and all these different things and then throw him in the in the brigand, so to speak. You know, I, I just see somebody who was dealing with some very significant problems and I think that Amber Heard, because of some of the tangents she got off onto, I think she precipitated some of those problems. And I do not think she was the source of those problems. But I think she precipitated some of those problems, no question. <clears throat> So texts to his sister, Christy, were shared as evidence. She wants to talk to me and doesn't know what to do. Loves you, but does not know what to do in this case. It was not pleasant today. I was not aware she had another interesting photo shoot. That's really why she left, is what I think. I don't need an actress and her ambition to be like that. So he was frustrated, and he was definitely frustrated with Amber Heard and I can understand some of that, but I think he was also frustrated with some of the people in his own life. And so that's why I feel like I can really relate to Johnny Depp to a certain respect. He was he was getting frustrated with some of the people he was just dealing with on a daily basis. And sometimes it had nothing to do with Amber at all. He was just dealing with some things that um, I think any guy can relate to as well. So I'm not trying to deliberately take sides. I'm just saying that I lean always more towards the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. I'm a big fan of that series, and I do hope to see it again on the big screen, you know. And in that way, you know, I, I don't condone it, but I'm okay with, with Depp working through some of his problems that he has. That's all. He said their heads likely bumped when she was moving around. Photo of large bags of marijuana. Heard's lawyer showed Depp a photo of at least four large bags of marijuana next to a cup with his film company, Infinitum Naiho. Depp admitted to trashing the hotel rooms in the past. You have trashed hotel rooms. So, you know, and that's not okay. But, again, he didn't do anything directly to Amber Heard, is what I'm, I'm trying to get at especially something that would be considered actionable 
during these visits. I don't I don't know if trashing the hotel room really signifies an official crime or anything like that. I, I'm not okay with him or Amber or anyone doing it. You know, I hope they just refrain from something like that in the future. But I'm saying within the context of court and similar things, I don't know if that's truly an actionable offense. Um, and I would say that there's similar things that he probably did do that he can pay fines for, you know, and, and fine, and that's perfectly fine. But I'm just saying within the context of him being an abuser and a bad person and things like that, I don't, I don't see anything here that will be actionable enough to say that yes, he must be an abuser. Um, but anyway, just. To clear things up here, Depp spoke about Elton John trying to get him sober. Elton John was one of your friends who was trying to help you, right? And Depp confirmed this. You sent him a message in 2012 where you thanked him for his help and you said, I would have been swallowed up by the monster were it not for you. That is a simple fact. Is that not true? Yes. Once again, the monster refers to alcohol and substances. Johnny Depp stated again. The word monster was used at another point. When Depp said Heard called him a monster when he was on drugs and, and uh, substances. So, you know, and I can understand that. I, I think it was inappropriate for him or for anyone, including Amber, to be using so many illegal drugs in the past. Okay? But I'm not speaking from a standpoint of the past, and that's what we need to look at. We're not looking at Johnny and similar things from 10 years ago. Okay? You know, they were both under stress at the time. And so, you know, I'm just saying I find it understandable, okay, and reasonable to uh, to look at the fact that it's, it's, it's reasonable to uh, expect that they would say something like that, that they would, you know, assume that. But once again, it kind of misses the wider point. And that point is... Some of our movies that we really treasure, and I would say Pirates of the Caribbean certainly ranks up there for me as uh, one of my treasured favorite pastime movies, have been kind of defiled over the years with this whole new hip culture movement, is what I'll call it. And some of the issues that... Uh, you know, Johnny Depp especially and Amber Heard and so forth were going through at the time is a testament to the fact that that movement had gone just too far, you know. And I want to be able to see a brand new Pirates of the Caribbean movie on the big screen that is truly worth the time, that's truly worth that effort of going out there to be able to watch the movie and so forth. And so I love a discussion to really open up about Pirates of the Caribbean out of this so people can start to uh, put two and two together and see, you know, this, this isn't really just about Johnny Depp. It's not about Amber Heard, although this is going to be good uh, as this unfolds here. It's really about... How are our movies going to be remembered, you know? And what can we do with our movies and film as a whole? How can we really get this whole hip culture uh, craze under control again and get real movies back on the silver screen that everybody wants to see once again? And, you know, get a great sequel to Pirates of the Caribbean. Wouldn't it be amazing to have a Pirates of the Caribbean that was set, you know, on one of those lost islands off of the coast of um, Madagascar, something like that, a place nobody's ever visited before? I mean, I can, I can come up with almost a dozen ideas of a perfect setting for a real Pirates of the Caribbean film. But the first thing that has to be worked through is, you know, what what has been going on with these actors? What's what's going on? What's bothering Johnny? And what's what's also been bothering Amber Heard on the same in the same vein? Because I I personally cannot believe myself that some of the actions she has taken as of late 
really uh, are true to the character of who Amber Heard is overall as a person. Because some of the outrageous actions that she's actually taken really, really defy almost any kind of belief. They are very odd. And they really kind of create a reputation in the world that is very uh, counter to what we want to see in our movie culture, no question. And some of the claims that are made about similar things like cosmetics and, and so on, I can see why Milani Cosmetics in particular wanted to distance themselves a little bit from Amber Heard's recent missives. This is right now. And so from that standpoint, I think they both have a lot to learn. Um, but I do believe that Depp, Depp's reputation was improperly damaged by this, for sure. And I do believe that there's things that need to be settled on this issue so we can really, that we can have a fun enjoyable Pirates of the Caribbean movie, a new one. And that, that would be what I'd love to get out of this, most of all, you know? So I appreciate you guys spreading the word and get it out there far and wide. <clears throat> you know, get it out there to the mass public so we can truly discuss that because it would be nice to have another Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I think that would be something that would, that would definitely be a good a good discussion topic. Thank you again. This is the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, uh, Johnny Depp trial. Appreciate it. So, and I don't deny that both of them have done some questionable things in the past. You know, within the last 10 or 12 years, both Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. But as far as it being um, legally actionable, as far as the certain actions that were taken by them being legally actionable, you know, I'm not so sure. Um, I think that Amber Amber Heard probably will end up paying some penalties for sure. Um, and Depp, because of some of the interesting things he was involved with in hotels and similars, is certainly going to pay a large amount of fines and fees for that damage to the property. I don't think it's appropriate that anyone goes into various hotels and just trashes the hotels and does the things that are accused of you know, in the court filings. Um, but again, it it depends on whether there's, you know, documented uh, video evidence and so on of such and such doing certain things. It depends on if there's video camera evidence of uh, Depp actually dragging Amber Heard across the ground, for example. It depends on things like that. And so I don't, see anything legally actionable uh, yet from the onset of looking at, at the investigation. Um, but I would agree that um, no matter what occurs here, you know, Johnny Depp will probably pay some very high fines uh, just due to uh, destruction of certain hotel property or similar things. And Amber Heard will... will most likely pay a price as well due to the, some of the things that she's actually been a part of. Um, but there's not enough right now with the present time of the trial and things like that to definitively say that someone is guilty of such and such crime. There's not enough revealed in the trial that they're making all these claims about. For me, especially in particular, to say, you know, so-and-so is guilty of this specific crime. So I'm just pointing out uh, that regardless, at this time, I would certainly concur that Depp and so forth will pay some very large fines. But there's nothing as far as there's no video type of uh, surveillance of certain things going on. You know, there is some, some questionable audio but there has to be witnesses, you know, that come along with audio. And so, from that standpoint, I don't see anything right offhand that indicates someone is unfit for uh, 
the role of the movie, for example. I don't think that there's enough there, especially at present time, to say, you know, Depp should never work on Pirates again. Or even that Amber Heard should not be allowed to be involved with the Pirates franchise either. I, I'm just pointing out, um, from an outside observer's standpoint, I don't see anything truly actionable as of yet that will lead to some kind of conclusion like this. I just agree that they need to go ahead and pay their fines, especially their official penalty fines, uh, for damage of hotels and things, because that's been, you know, evident and proven. Um, but I think the jury needs to go ahead and, and deliberate on a lot more evidence that hopefully people will be able to see some of the physical evidence videotaped evidence, things like that, um, to be able to decide, you know, what truly was going on between Amber Heard and, and Johnny Depp. I don't think a lot of the accusations against Johnny Depp are ultimately true, especially at this stage. I think some of them were true or were correct, probably, but I think on the whole, a lot of them were just simply untrue. They were exaggerated, so they were not really a part of anything. So anyway, just my analysis. Depp appeared to write in a different 2013 exchange that he would smack Amber around before letting her inside. In May 2016, Amber Heard was granted a protective order after she claimed Depp hit her in the face with a cell phone somehow. Depp denied any of these charges. Depp also lobbed allegations against Heard in court, claiming that she would pick fights and escalate them with demeaning language. He also said she would sometimes strike out, saying that she would slap or shove him or throw something. Now, without hearing the actual audio and physically hearing more or less the majority of the audio, I'm going to speak to that as I really officially don't know. Um, I don't know if the allegations with either one of them are actually accurate until hearing physical audio recording or, or it's even at that stage because a lot of the times audio can be faked. You know, just seeing some eyewitness accounts of what was going on. So I don't know. and I think that that's an official conclusion people can can reach at that juncture is it really is unknown what was going on there especially as of yet um, some TikTokers, TikTokers give play-by-plays of the day recounting the latest testimony or evidence others suggest unproven conspiracy theories including one in which users say Amber Heard is in intentionally mimicking Depp's outfits on Twitter, some who back Depp have suggested that uh, Amber Heard is not being held to the same standard as male domestic abusers. Amber Heard got a free pass for her lies and violence for six years. This bias definitely needs to end. Twitter user and Depp supporter Isa Girlman stated, Experts said there may be many reasons why so many have used social media to declare their support. Amber, in my opinion, was not known too well until she started dating Johnny Depp. She became well known when she made the allegations against Johnny Depp, and because the world knows Johnny and loves that actor, I believe that everyone is going to be angry and upset that such allegations were made. You couldn't say it any better than that. It's just like, I, I concur with some of where the media has been taking this. There's not enough really known especially at this stage, to say that someone was doing all these things. And I don't even know if, um, if to, to, to truth be told, if Amber was doing some of these things that are claimed yet until we get an eyewitness in there who's credible, until we see some physical uh, evidence, as it were, in the trial. So anyway, thank you again for joining me on this venture and be sure to spread this far and wide let's get this out to the general public let's make sure the amber heard and johnny depp case becomes a very household name out there 
among the audience. Thank you again. Look forward, look forward to more on this. JTC Channel. Signing off.